Now, this was a stock, or a company, I should say, rather, that in the private market was valued at over a billion dollars about a year ago. Uh, it's now looking to come to market at a valuation that would put it several hundred million dollars below that. What happened between then and now? It's about a 30% haircut, mm -hmm. but think about the timing. This valuation was in March 2019. Since then, we've seen Uber's IPO, Lyft's IPO, Peloton, and then the whole WeWork debacle. Mm -hmm. So it seems that a lot of these unprofitable companies that had great growth rates just didn't impress public investors. So mm -hmm. it makes sense that the investment bankers would say, hold on, let's put hold this yeah. at a price that could appeal to investors. Okay, you can do that, but at the same time, investors want to see, want to hear about the path to profitability. What's Casper's path to profitability? Reading the prospectus, there isn't a whole lot about profitability. There's the typical warning that they may never go public, but the margins looked pretty good. They're in the 40% up to 50% range. So these mattresses are profitable, and some of the locations, they've been opening stores all over the country, mm -hmm. those are making money. So there's a plan for that. But the company does lose about 70 to 90 million dollars. Which is interesting when you talk about those types of profit margins. I mean, one of the big knocks on this when they first uh, sort of put out their, their filing was this idea that they don't have a lot of recurring revenue. It's basically you buy a mattress and maybe five years later you buy another one and maybe you get a lamp for your sleep arc or something. Have they tried to address these issues as to uh, how they can boost revenue without just, you know, spending uh, on customer acquisition to the hill? Casper's a pioneer in the mattress game and they've tried to convince the world that sleep is a wellness activity and that you need hmm. to replace your mattresses more often. And so many competitors since then have come into the space. So that could be having some impact. And millennials like to move a lot more, so maybe they need some more mattresses. Did of course, they have like <laughs> a billion other startup companies to get mattresses from. Um, does Casper need to go public? That's the question because WeWork, for instance, had to go public. Casper is certainly burning a lot of cash. They're not profitable. If they want to continue their growth, they'll have to get money some way. Companies like Target have already invested in Casper, and there's a lot of venture capital money already. So this is just a new way to fund their growth.